Hello everyone and welcome back to Silent Hill Homecoming for, what, part 14 now? I think so. Uh, and we find ourselves in a church in what seems to be the middle of nowhere. I don't know if this is the other world or, or Silent Hill or, well, I don't have a map of this area. I just don't know. What I do know is that I hear a lot of bugs around the area. I just can't see the bastards. Maybe they're in the confessional? Let's, uh, yeah, let's have a look. Okay, examine something. Ah, not bugs, but there is someone inside. Maybe they know what's going on around here. Well, let's hope so. Yeah, let's chat. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been four years since my last confession. Huh. <sighs> I don't blame you for ignoring me, Father. I'm not even sure you can help me. I'm lost. I'm so deep beyond the reach of my faith, and I'm sinking further away. I think I recognize that voice, but yeah, let's get some more details. <laughs> Why should God care? No, what did you do? What could you have done that was so terrible? I took my role as a father and I turned it into a daily chore. Fed him, clean him, put him to bed. I treated the dog with more respect. And when I was given a second son, the first might as well have been a stranger sleeping in our house. Okay. Uh... Uh... He acknowledges it. I guess it sounds like you can change. I feel that you could start loving your son at any time. I do love my son, Father. I love both my sons. But I had to make a choice. And the only way to live with that was to make sure my son never loved me. I had to make sure that he would never feel joy or compassion. All the things that make life worth living. You must understand, I was only trying to make things easier for him and for me. And for this selfishness, I ask forgiveness. If you truly want forgiveness, then you already have it. Thank you, Father. And now I have something for you, Father. I don't need anything from you. What? Oh. Oh, it wasn't my dad. It was a, uh... <laughs> another one of these things? What are they? It's a plate. It's a kneeling man plate. Huh. Okay. Right, uh... Give me a sec, what was the other one? So that's Kneeling Man. Chalice, right, yeah, that's the one I, I found on top of the torso, downstairs. Uh, what's this? Is that another photo? Mm, no, it's an excerpt from a psalm. Did I do this last time? I don't know. Uh, Blessed is the man who does not tread the path of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. Yeah, something else to be added to the journal, I'm doing a lot of that. Uh, let's see, uh, anything on the pews over here? Hmm. To be honest, I was waiting for um, when my dad was going to show up. There you go. Another health drink? <laughs> sure. Add it to the stockpile. And, uh... Something up with this candle. It looks out of place. It's an unlit candle. Okay. Do we need to light it up? Let's try it. Nope, can't be used here. Okay. Going across there, I assume, is not going to be a thing. No, I can't jump across this time or sidle along. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, looks like we're going back downstairs. Where do I use the pla- Oh, yeah, I think I might know where to use the plates, to be honest. We might have to take another look at that organ. Not sure about the candle, though. Does the candle go down here, maybe? I don't know. There's no... Mm, no, I don't think so. Unless it goes there. Nope. Pretty sure it's not. We might be on the other side of the church. We haven't actually explored that yet. Oh, God. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, come on. Not two at once. Leave me alone. Yeah, wait your turn. Wait your turn. That's it. Wait your turn. That's it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, if only they, they ate each other or something. Oh, God. Oh, what's going on? Not right now. Okay, one down. One to go. No, no. <laughs> All right. On a few more slices, and you are done for. No static, no radio noise whatsoever. That's good, right? 
Yeah, do the plates go over here? It's more than just a place to put the dagger in, isn't it? It's gotta be. Oh, five in total? Oh my god. Each of which could hold an item. Right, um, so... Yep. We need to find three more plates, it seems like. So, okay, let's hope we can find three more plates through here. Hmm. Are we approaching the end of the game? It kind of feels like we might be. I mean, this what this is like 14 parts in now, and I've well, the, all the videos have been like half an hour each or something like that. So, hang on. It's a statue holding something. Right, I'm going to need it. I can't make out the expression on its face. The object is blocking my view. It looks as though something is missing from the plate. Right, is it a candle by any chance? It is. It is, okay. Right, <laughs> I guess I'm pretty tall. Must be like an NBA player or something. I grabbed that. I got the candle plates. Yeah. Sure. She's here as well? Speaking of which, where's Josh? Didn't he run in here as well? Okay, we haven't got another confessional, but we do have another health drink. Bloody hell. Um, right. It really does feel like they're just around me right now. I guess they're in the floorboards or something. What's this anyway? Looks like a puzzle to me. Together, the three paintings form a scene of a man pursuing a mysterious woman. Okay. Yeah, it does. Do I have to, like, move them around or anything, or...? I don't know. These gates are locked, but I don't see any means of opening them. Perhaps they are controlled from somewhere else in the church. Oh shit, really? Is there a lever or something I missed? Something down here. Oh, there is something down here! Shotgun ammunition. Brilliant. Right, so what's the deal with this? Oh, what, well, um... What did I just read about? Let, let me just go in my journal. Uh, what was it? Da, 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 da. Um, is it in... Well, it wouldn't be in manual photos or drawing. That thing I had a look at. That, that, from, that excerpt from a psalm, does that have something to do with it? Maybe? Maybe. Let's have a look at this one. The middle panel depicts an ancient dying tree. Reminds me of the one in the hotel atrium. Cut. Ah, yeah, I suppose. Is there going to be an ill effect if I get the wrong one? Let's hope not. Okay. It's a rip. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's where they are. That's where they've been hiding all this time. Go on. <laughs> Add another one. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> I could do this all day. I kind of want to do this all day. <laughs> okay, so hang on. Why couldn't we cut this one? His eyes are fixed on the woman in the first painting. Yes. Cut. Ah. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. There you go. It's a tree plate. Pretty fantastic. Right. <laughs> that was close. Oh, and he's down. Okay. Is there going to be another one behind this painting, or is it going to be over there? I don't know. To be honest, it sounds like the only thing behind that one is going to be bugs, so I'll come back to that, maybe. More ammo. It seems like it's setting me up for another boss fight or something. I've been getting that for very little reason. Oh, God. Please don't. Please don't crash. Okay. First aid kit? Yeah. See what I mean? Okay. Something to do with this? Can I have a look? It's a scene of a knight being stabbed in the back by an executioner. What did he do to deserve this? The center window has something just below it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't actually see that. <laughs> that's the, uh, that's the sword plate. Oh my god.
He's wait, is that another one? Or is that like a really quick one? Oh fuck, it's another one. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I was kinda right. Oh my god, oh my god. Right, well, um. Yeah, it's gonna be this, isn't it? Here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh god. <laughs> I was holding right click, I've been playing too much Resident Evil 7. Uh. <laughs> He's blocking the second one, I love it. Oh, come on, I need to reload. Oh, he's so weak. Ow. Ow. Oh, my God. Right. Oh, you're really pummeling me. Just dodge out of there, mate. Oh, my God. Right, I'm... Uh, I'm actually going to use a first aid kit. Full health? Pretty much, I think. Yeah, close to it. <sighs> right. Goodness gracious me, but uh, I, I believe I've found all five of the plates, haven't I? There's two in there, there's three, so yeah, I guess so. Here we go. Candle plate, sword plate, tree plate. Oh, that's more of a puzzle, isn't it? Okay. Wait, what? Where did it say vengeance? Where the. Oh, I see. That says vengeance, that says desire. Sorrow. Sacrifice. Penitence. Right, okay, vengeance. Well, we got one that's a sword, so I'm assuming it's that one. So... Sword, okay. Desire? Desire. Would that be... What have we got? We got a tree, candle, chalice, kneeling man. Tree, maybe? Sorrow, sacri- oh! That's why I- that's why I made a point of looking at that statue, wasn't it? Uh, give me a moment, give me a moment. Journal. The statue looks like it's holding something. The expression on the statue is one of sadness. I got the candle plate. It's the candle plate that's the- the sorrow. Okay. So it's down there, and that is the candle plate. Sacrifice and penitence. Well, I'm assuming penitence will be... Kneeling man. Chalice is sacrifice? Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, there he is. Shit. Hi, Dad. Am I gonna have to shoot you in the head as well? Has he done the deed? Has he killed him? You have no idea what I'm capable of. You hate me. It's okay. I don't blame you. I don't hate you. I forgot you. A long time ago. I never meant to hurt you, son. I had to make a choice. Really? Okay. You've been there ever since the accident. No. That's not true. I'm a soldier. I protect people. 
We had to take you there. After that night. After I gave your brother this. <laughs> the ring. What is this thing? What did you do? Where's Joshua? I figured someone was going to do it. Whoa. That's got to be messy. I know you're in shock and everything, but you might want to just leg it. No? No, he wasn't here for you. Wow, look at that. Cut him right in half. I still maintain he shouldn't be in the game, but that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I got the Shepherd family ring. Now is that the- that's the item that connects to Josh. What's going on? I can't click off of it. Oh, there we go. Jesus Christ, Dad. Can you have a look at this? Dad's remains, yeah. Woohoo! And I thought Mum had it bad. My goodness me. Okay, yeah, uh, well there's something to think about. Was he telling the truth? Was he bullshitting? Was I in the mental hospital? Was that right at the very beginning? That dream wasn't just a dream, maybe that was some sort of weird... Memory, or... Did... Fucking barbed wire. Blocking me off. Ah, shit, okay. Well, I better hope there was nothing good behind that third painting, because uh, I'm not I'm not going back there. Yeah, I uh, guess I don't know what to believe right now. There is always a hint of the unknown in Silent Hill games, but yeah, okay, that was kind of a weird one. So, yeah. Let's see if I can actually save the remaining member of my family, if he's not already dead. Alright. I assume, you know, I don't have a map of this area either. No. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Let's go the other way, yeah? <laughs> What's this? Mining equipment. Oh, right, okay. It doesn't look like it's been used in a while. This suit could protect me, really? Right. Costume change? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I look like one of them now. Should be holding a steel pipe, really. Uh, yeah, okay. Can't do anything with this. No? Okay. Well, I guess let's test the suit out. Yeah, it seems to work. So, a mine. Am I going to find Josh inside a mine? Ah, here we go. You going down. Like a job, soldier. I know what I do. Fixing things. It's my gift. Okay, yeah, speaking of which, have you got my revolver? Is that what you're hiding behind your back? But now, I have direction. Clarity. It's important to know who you are. Nah, it's not a revolver like a hammer. Alex. Alex. You're an idiot. Don't you agree? Soldier. Alex, you moron. Out, but I 
don't know what happened. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. You try so hard to raise a child, to instill your values into her. You want her to be her own person, but you hope she'll always remember what's important. going on? Family is the most important thing, Alex. I would do anything to protect them. That's why I sacrificed my daughter. What? Oh, come on. Who didn't see that one coming? Especially after that smile. They had good intentions. They left the order to start a new life in Shepherd's Glen. They feared the wrath of our god. So they made a pact to keep us safe. All that was required was a small sacrifice. I'll check. Once every 50 years, founding families must make an offering to appease the god. One of our children struck down by her own hands. I did what was required. I watched the light fade from the moon's eyes as I took her life. No, death. Protect our family. God. Protect Shepherd Josh. Glenn. No, Alex. One of us failed. Lack the strength to fulfill his duty. Hmm. Your father. Okay, so there's a chance he's still alive. Where's Joshua? <laughs> Don't you see? Because of him, our sacrifices were in vain. The pact with our God was broken. Your father's lack of conviction cursed us all. the order which our founders abandoned. The true thing. By kidnapping? By murdering? Murdering? I've given you life for rebirth. And what about Elf? And I properly killed kill them. Her too? She's like you, Alex. Good for her. She still thinks there are such things as good and evil. But there aren't. There is only chaos and order. Show my daughter the price of disobedience. Power drill? Really? Don't look. I can help you with all this. There must be another way. I'll become part of the order. I'll be your best soldier. It's time I finished. What's your father called? Why the leg? What the fuck? What the f- Yeah, get out of it. <laughs> I- I don't understand. Oh, now you're going for the head? Why didn't you start with the head? You're an idiot! People in horror games are just idiots! Oh god. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, turn it around on her. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, don't make me destroy my mouse. Oh.
Jesus Christ. Uh, so, when I see Elle next, I'll have to tell her that both her sister and her mother are dead. That's going to be a pleasant conversation, isn't it? That is, of course, if I get to see her again after what's-his-name walked off with the circular saw. Oh, come on. Bitch! <laughs> All that waiting just for that. It is finished. Well, not quite, but uh, <laughs> there you go. Right, what have we got here? That is, oh, it's, this is the lair, apparently, okay. And it's quite a big lair, actually. Is it just the one? I guess it's just the one floor. Cool. Cool, okay. Health drink, yep, sure. And what's over here? The ceremony, oh, right. Oh yeah, I guess I was um, stripped of my items, was I? I've only got the dagger, right. Oh, okay, but they let me keep the ring, the serum, and the health drinks and stuff. That's neat. Um, yeah, sure, right. Um, seeing as there is a save point there, I'm going to use it, and we'll have to explore the lair next time. So thank you very much for watching part 14 of Silent Hill Homecoming, and I hope to see you back in part 15, where hopefully we find Elle, and maybe, just maybe, we'll find Josh as well. Just, just this once. See you next time. It's a rip- oh fuck. <laughs> That's where they are. <laughs> and another one! <laughs> I could do this all day. I kind of want to do this all day. <laughs> that was close. The center window has something just below it. Oh yeah, I didn't actually see that. That's the, uh, that's the sword plate. Oh my god. Let's go the other way, yeah? <laughs> You? No, that's not a revolver. It's like a hammer. Alex. Alex! You're an idiot! And I properly killed kill them. Oh, now you're going for the head? Why didn't you start with the head? <laughs>